Hey guys, this is pretty much the end of Benchy. Um, it really slows down whenever the layer heights are limited in time. So you can change that setting. It's set at 10 seconds, so it attempts to go at about 10 seconds per layer. But there's also a minimum 10 millimeters per second print speed set up on there. So short of me reducing the speed rate, you can probably reduce it down to get a cleaner at fine points. Settings can be changed all over the place. And um, if you're wanting really, really beautiful clean prints, you really got to kind of adjust the design the print and the printer to work perfection but for the most part the standard settings are pretty basic they're good for most things um, when you get really complex stuff like thin little spires domes extreme overhangs that's whenever you have to alter your settings but it's not a common print so Settings are pretty solid as is. All right, guys. We just finished Benchy. So basically, I'm gonna pull it on off here. This is just a scraper from Lowe's from Hawk. And I basically took one edge and kind of shaved it down on the grinder to give me a little sharper edge here. So to get these guys off, I mean they are they are definitely on there. They're not going anywhere. So grab a hold of the bed, kind of just twist back and forth. Once you get it underneath that edge, you can just kind of like lift. And typically, if it's a large print, you want to catch it on a few different sides. If it's something big, bam, comes right off. So let's do a little close up kind of this guy. Let's see if I can zoom or focus. I mean, maybe. It's a little bit of a focus. Okay. All right. Well, that's basically it. Um, pretty good results. This is a very tough area to keep a nice clean edge on that front corner. Um, overhangs are also very difficult. Um, it's not flawless. Um, these are intended to be quite challenging, um, but typically you can go in and just with your fingernail, oftentimes you can clean up little flaws. That's basically it. Like that little guy right there. Um, another cool trick you can do is if there's something that is uh, bugging you, you can take a take a lighter. Aha. And since this stuff is uh, PLA has pretty low sensitivity you can actually kind of soften stuff out but for the most part it's not really needed um, but I mean like those corners corners aren't the greatest down there but they're pretty good I mean this isn't a two thousand dollar printer this is you know three hundred bucks um, and there's other options see how this stuff hangs down um, you can also get like a knife, a knife went, get some scissors here, and you can kind of kind of clip away some of the, the large debris, um, something like that, theoretically that should work, there's a little steering wheel in there, there's all kinds of neat stuff on this guy, so Basically, this is kind of a test print, and it shows um, kind of the challenge, challenging parts. And with a extra fan, I think you can get better prints than this for sure, because a lot of this overhang stuff is due to it not cooling fast enough. And since the printer only has one fan, it would probably be good to have a second fan. Looks like there's some issues up here. This change in diameters because it was zipping across here and coming back over. And then when it very cleared this top edge, um, there was just more material. So this was kind of thin down here because of ooze and whatnot. Um, and that could be probably resolved with better uh, retraction settings 
Um, there's a lot of settings in there, but again, I mean, it's kind of a, it's kind of the more fine-tuned you work, and you can get better results for sure. Um, CT 3D XYZ. So that was something that was embedded underneath in the code. Anyways, that's basically it. That's old Benchy. Kind of a fun print. Kind of small too. And it looks like I have big, huge, thick hands, but. <laughs> um, yeah, that's basically it. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and uh, I'll keep posting more videos. As soon as I get in those uh, PCB drill bits, I should be able to make some really cool videos of PCB milling and. I'll get some more tutorials up as well here pretty shortly. All right, thanks everybody, bye.